Hello, it's Wendy again. Today I'm working in my altered book again, and I decided to just choose some uh, some random pages in the center somewhere. I've torn out a whole lot of pages, but and I don't know how many well the book will hold. So I thought, well, if I just place them sort of throughout and work on pieces like that, then I can probably, you know, make it work out evenly. So today what I've decided to do is concentrate these two pages on birds. I have a little bird theme in mind. And so I can, uh, I've picked out a few things that will, will work with the theme and let's get started. I'm doing the pages separately and this one I decided to put this in here. And I guess the best way to do that is with, um, with a glue stick because I find with the wetter glue it warps the paper because it's just so damp. I'll try and keep a piece of parchment paper to uh, to do my gluing on. You know what? I'm going to cut this first. So let's do this. Let's just measure it. Mark it and cut it with the cutter. I really like this little cutter, which is from Cricut actually. I got it with a set. But I love being able to make really straight cuts because with the scissors, they never really turn out that well. So, how is everyone today? How are you holding up? Are you on a list to be vaccinated for COVID or? Is that not happening where you are, or is it something that you've not decided not to participate in? I'm kind of, health-wise, I don't jump on every bandwagon, but I really want to see life get back to a semblance of normal. And I'm in Canada, and I just recently got notification that my age group is going to be free to make an appointment, so... I did, and I, I'm in line to get vaccinated next week. This is um, vellum, which is a really funny paper to work with because it curls like mad when it gets the first hint of moisture. So even glue that's as um, as dry as this glue stick makes it curl up ridiculously. So I'm gonna get this down. It goes a train, boy, that's a loud one. But once you've got the glue on, it'll, it'll behave itself. So I can see that I could have actually positioned this positioned it a little bit lower on the page, but that's all right. This is an easy fix. Far easier than trying to tear, peel it off and put it on straight again and having the glue not work and whatnot. So we'll just do this. And then that's a problem solved. I'm all for finding the easiest way to solve a problem. Now, the other thing I want to do here is I've, I've taken a page from an old um, agenda time, they, not calendar, agenda, you know what I mean. And I'm going to make a little booklet out of it. So I think I'll use my cutter again for this just so I get straight lines. Although to be honest it doesn't matter that much. I'm going to make it narrower so I'll cut off these these black lines on the sides. Like that. And because it has a business name on the bottom here, I'll cut that off too. But I also have to cut off this folded edge. So let's do that one. Try and get it straight in here. Perfect. And then we'll cut off the bottom edge here to about there. I, I actually could do something different with it. I could, I 
could cover that part up, but I want to make it a small booklet anyway, so I don't really need to do that. Now, I'm going to also put a cover on it, and the paper that I've chosen is this one, and I'm just going to use this, but it has sort of the, the writing underneath just really faint in it, and I thought that would go nicely with the page that has the vellum and the the um, old-fashioned text on it, this vintage handwriting. So it'll work for this page very nicely. So now, now what I want to do is make it with a cover. So let's measure this. I'm going to make it almost exactly the same. So we will make a mark here for this cut. Wait, I gotta do this right. This is where my fold will be. So I'll give it a little bit extra just to deal with the bulk and cut it there. I will fold this in half like that and give it a nice crisp edge. And now it will fit on my little notebook like this. I'm going to make a little binding for it. So in order to make this even, I better do some kind of measurement. So let me see. like that and now I'm going to if I can get a handle on the thing here I'm going to put punch a hole which could be tricky it's really heavy punch this hole too there now I've got some twine, but I kind of like this rough twine, so I'm going to use it and just, um, let me see, let's just tr cut a hunk of it and put it through here. Tie it in a knot or a bow. I'm going to tie it in a bow. Like that. So there's our little booklet and that will fit in the pocket that I'm going to be making soon. So let's move some things out of the way. Try to keep things neat. Now before I get to that um, I want to do the other side of the page. So with this one, it's it's already almost exactly the same width as the page. Almost. It needs a little bit of a trim. So these pages, the theme is birds. Did I mention that already? So I'm just using birds and feathers. Take that little edge off as well. And now I need to measure how where to cut it on this side so that it just covers up the page because I'm going to make a pocket out of it against this page here. Okay, that can go in my scraps. This can go, I'll just put it over there for now. And this one will get 
glued um, only around the edges. So let me see if I got this right. That's the way they were doing it, yes. So it just needs to have glue around three sides. And this is just Aline's tacky glue, not just, but it is Aline's tacky glue. If you are interested in getting some, I've got a link below in the description. Well, what do you know? I put it on the wrong side. Today hasn't really been my day, I'm telling you. I've been sort of, I don't know, my head is everywhere right now. Got some other stuff going on and suddenly it's like, what, what, come on. Okay, I need to have the glue on that side. So we will do that. I don't know how I could have missed that, it's kind of obvious. However, if it makes you feel better that, you know, when you make mistakes, that you're not the only one, that's a good thing, right? Okay, so this page is a pocket. Just make sure it's pressed down around the sides there and stays glued down. Always, it's never a bad idea to go over it with something like this. And this is just a bone folder that I picked up. Okay, um, now then, for this one, I've got this cutout that I found somewhere and I cut it with my Cricut machine, which is why it's it's so perfectly cut. I don't always cut it so well myself. Just a little piece of paper there that didn't get pulled apart. Let's get rid of that one. Oh, come on. So tiny. I'm flapping around here. There we go. So I'm, I'm planning to put one bird over here and this one over here. So I'm going to cut this branch off and try and make it look like it was meant to be like that. I think that'll work for both of them. I haven't decided if I'm going to put something under here but I kind of think I might just so that there's a little bit more contrast. Oh, the other thing I want to do is distress this, which I forgot to do earlier. So we'll just do that now. It's already kind of an old looking piece of paper. So it doesn't really need much to make it look vintage because it's already pretty vintage looking. But a few more smudges is never, never a bad thing. Okay, put that away, put that away. Now I'm going to add my little bird here, like that, and I'm going to use this, this glue stick for it, again for the reason that you can go right off the edges, therefore getting down these really fine pieces. It's so beautiful out today, spring has finally come. It's just, um, it seemed to take a long time this year. It's been quite cold, or at least it sure felt cold to me. And I live surrounded by mountains, so we get snow. The snow line goes up and down the mountains. And my husband's kind of a weather guy in that he likes to keep track of the weather. And he's got diaries going back like 15 years what the weather was on certain days. So I get to hear about the weather a lot. 
probably more than I would normally look for, if you know what I mean. Now with this page, I'm going to do one more thing, and that is to put a divot in here. Um, but I'm going to measure it so that I end up in the right place. The book itself is eight and a quarter, so that means four and an eighth is the center. Four and that would be our center right there. Have to make sure this side hasn't stuck from that leftover glue. Hopefully it hasn't. Thankfully, it hasn't. Now, I will probably make a, a card to go in there, but not right now. And Yeah, I haven't decided about today. So, now for this one, this side here, I do need to decide on this, don't I? But first, let's put bird on this little thing here. I bought these stickers. Oh, that's cute. I like that little wren. Now, to get this off of here is another chore. Let's see. I discovered that you have to just kind of run your thumb over the end of it, or some edge of it, and that'll pull it off. Otherwise, you can't really divide them. There she goes. I'll just press her down really well. This is a little washi sticker. How cute. Yes, that's so cute. Now, I did have something in mind for the pocket for it to go in. And that wasn't it. Could do that. Let's give that one a try and see if it'll work. Sometimes I have a great plan and then change my mind about it. Go this way instead and get it right on that line. Of course, I didn't go quite far enough. All right, let's have a look. Let's see if this works. See if it looks good. So if that goes there. And that goes there, like that, and our bird goes here. I need something here, something round and maybe a little bit unobtrusive. Does that work? Kind of, but it's not exactly what I want. All right, I think what I'm going to do is just tear a piece of this. And tuck it into the corner here. This can go over top. This can be the pocket. And then we can put our bird on top of this. And it'll stand out a little bit more. So, to do that, I need my parchment again, and I need my, my glue stick. I'm 
and I'm going to get around the edge there. And you know what? I always forget to do this. I want to first distress this edge. So I'm going to have sticky fingers, but it'll be worth it because it'll look better. I will have even distressed fingers. Okay. All right, so that is not a pocket. Um, let's see, put this back on. This needs to have glue only around the outside edges and the top free. And this one, I will remember to do the edges. How's that? I actually remembered. I would like to get some more colors. I've seen some really gorgeous blue, but there's no place in Canada I can buy it, at least from where I live, without going online. And then the shipping is so expensive. I was going to order it straight from the company, and it was like the shipping cost more than the products in my order. So when you have to, you know, double, it basically doubles the cost. And I don't know about you, but I'm not really willing to pay that much. And the borders are still closed, so we can't, and I, I actually live close to the border, but when you can't cross it, well then, it doesn't do you that much good. So this is going to overlap a little bit on that. And then, our bird has to go on here, and our bird is going to be glue sticked on. Is it glue sticked or glue stuck? I think it doesn't matter. These are really delicate. There's really tiny, tiny pieces. In fact, there's one right here that needs to be popped out. There's that. And this one also I cut with the Cricut machine, obviously, because I did them both together and then cut them apart. And um, it's wonderful for how well it cuts these fine details. I just love it. So if you're if you're looking for one, if you're thinking of one, I got the Cricut Maker because I have leather and I want to try doing some leather work with it and some other fancy stuff. And um, I put a link below if you are interested in ordering it through that. That would be wonderful. Now, this guy has to go a little bit on the corner wise so that his leaves all fit in together. And this leaf has to lie down properly. It goes over the edge just slightly, which is really nice. So there's that. Now, the other thing I have, which I can add to this, is feathers. I found a, a little bunch of feather ephemera at uh, the store the other day, and I think we could put a little feather on the front of the um, pocket. There's a small one. Those are too big. Ooh, that's pretty. So is that. And are those. Okay, there's the small ones. So that, that's a good place to start. Now it comes down to color coordination. That blue is a pretty cold blue to go with these bright blues. That one kind of works. Um, that one does too. I'm not so sure about that. Well, the pink kind of goes in with this. That that works. And this one is too big. And the brown one, um, I think it might be the best of all. 
oddly enough, but you know what I want to do? It has a lot of white around it, so I'm going to cut that off. There now, let's just sort of rough up the edges here, make it a little bit more authentic, and it will also blend better with the colors on the pages. There, that's really nice. Okay. Okay, good show, Wendy. We're getting things done here at a great pace. Just toss those little bits. Toss these back into their container. And now I'm going to just bend this a little bit so it can bend around the, the booklet that's going to go in it. make it a bit more flexible. And then I'll pop it on here. I think that's very attractive. Put this away. Now there is one else, one other thing I would like to do, and that is to get rid of station wagon in Spain and number 88 and that kind of thing. So I'll need to um, come up with something that works for that. And um, I'm not really sure what that might be. This is just a strip of paper. Time to employ the scraps. Isn't that pretty? I'll use that for something else. Aha. I think this will work. Either that or no, that's too see-through and too too fussy, too much the same. So let's just um, tear a piece of this. So you can see just a little bit of that text, which is which is fine, I guess. Um, actually, I think I'll. Maybe pop that in there. Put this over top of it. I'm not sure. Oops, won't get in too far. Actually, I think that will work. I'll just make it work. off here so there's a little more flexibility in the page. That like that. Then put this over top of it. And right, remember distress it, it'll look better. Again, with glue on the hands. Ah well. So there's just a word peeking out underneath there, which makes, you know, no sense and no message at all. So this little booklet then for journaling on pops into there and it, it actually covers that up. And for, for this page, there will be, um, I think, you know what, I think I'll do this as a journal card. Yes, 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 yes. I'm just going to cut it out and put it in there and then it will coordinate with that one. So the question is, do it this way? Do I have room without getting into this pink stuff? No, I do not. But I do have room this way. So I'll make it a bit smaller of course because of the glue on the edges and it should be about this big and yeah right there okay there it is cut without destroying the rest of the picture on the page and I think I, I need 
think I need applause or something to just for just remembering this. I'm getting in the habit, let's say. Okay. And this one, here it is after all. This can go in. You know what? I feel like just making this a piece to put in, put on it. fact, maybe I'll put it this way. That's what I'll do. This can be just solely a journal card. No, I like it on the front. And we'll just I'll cut it off once I once I'm finished gluing it down just so that I get a nice big good cut on it edges down here. It's going to go off the end on the skinny end. So we'll just do that. How did it do that? Good grief. Luckily it dries colorlessly so okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now I just have to snip this off. Oh, that looks so nice. I love it. Looks so nice. Did this end get nailed down? It did. Wait, 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 wait. Yep, it's good. It's all good. So now we have the card to put in this pocket and that'll just slip right in there, ostensibly, it's a little bit stiff. This end needs to be, to be done as well. Yeah, that'll work. There, it's got a little hidey hole. Um, you know what? It would be fun to put a little bird peeking out of here, wouldn't it? Let's see. What if the sparrow was here? Yeah, why not? Let's try that. Okay, let's make sure. I want to make sure I get him in the right place here. Come on. There. So it goes with the bird theme because we've got a bird on it and it'll peek out of this little, little divot there and signal that there's actually something going on in there. This needs just a little trim right here. And there's our finished pages. Or there are our finished pages. So we've got the little booklet which has a few lined things in here. So that's a nice little journaling spot. We've hidden up most of the the book page which is lovely and got a nice pocket here lovely bird beautiful piece of art here with our bird and then we've got the pocket with the little sparrow looking out so that has been so much fun and i really like it i mean every page i, I like them all i mean i love images and love creating things and i'm sure you do too so 
uh, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you can get the notifications. And I'll see you next time.